I'm on my way to take a spin and to pick up some knives. I want you to take a look at this big old house now. They got the roof on it and the overhang. It's a monster. I gotta pick up some knives at 59th Street, which is seven or eight streets up from the button patch. I'm gonna pick up the knives and I'm gonna shoot in there for a little while just to look around and get some exercise. And then I'm gonna come back and sharpen whatever kind of knives it is I'm pick, picking up. This is a new customer, so I don't know what to expect. Stand by. I'll run over this grass guy here. Well, we're at the button patch. And we got the knives. We got a fair amount of Wussaw, I mean the uh, Hankles. We got scissors. One, two, three, looks like seven knives and a pair of scissors. You can't see them with their ankles. They're just old. Oh, there it is. On that side. Ankle. Okay. Let's get cracking. I oh, long pants and tennis shoes, so I ain't planning on getting wet. But I planned that for at least 20 years. It's never worked. I've left the beach so many times, wet feet, trying this. It's unbelievable. What do we got here now? Cheerleader. Exactly. Stand by. Day before two. I think the tide's low right at three. I'm sure there was a cut here before, but I, I doubt it's here now. I got an hour or so to kill, so. We're gonna, like I said, we're just gonna try it. God, I was not expecting a cliff. Holy jumping Toledo. Question is, how'd I get down there? Stand by. Good gracious. I see a little low spot right down here. I'll come down here. This is what dreams are made out of when you find find this spot like this. Ought to be something happening here today. Okay, we're down. Take a look at that. Great, googa mooga. I might spend up. Look, no way of my feet are gonna get wet. I can tell you that. Slow overlapping. I ain't found anything yet. Not one hit up high next to the, not next to the cut. But generally speaking, everything is right over here, about eight or ten feet off the cut. It gets washed out and then falls down, you know, a little bit further towards the ocean. But it don't have to be. That's just sometimes. This is all fill sand, you know, from the dredge. That's where the buttons came from. Dredged, dredged them up and pumped them up here. Uh-oh, it's the black sand. Black sand hit, I think. Black sand. Just a chirp. All right, I'll get back to you. The cut is kind of dropping off, but there's another great big one way down there. We might get to that one too. We're gonna move down to the ocean front a little bit more now, to the ocean, the I mean, the waves. Well, the first one says there's a penny. And I can see a penny, even. Okay. Let's get back to you. A 1507, really scratchy. 1205, out. copper. I take that back. 
unless there's a piece of it. Unless there's another target. This is a 1203 right here. I don't know if it's in the sand I dug up or under the sand in a new spot. Must be a new, new, new ticket. Now this is the one that's kind of scratchy too. Twelve oh four, three. Oh, I think I see it now. I think I just missed it. I think it's a piece of the other one. Yep, just a piece of the other. I got two of these now, whatever this is. Or maybe it's just broken half. 46. 25 cent, I'm thinking. Find it, that is. Jesus. I'm trying to get my feet wet, that's what it's trying to do. Hey. That's reading iron. 0142. Got it out. No. Stand by. I got no clue, but I know it's good size because I can hit it with a scoop. Well, it can't be too big. Unless there's something else in there. Well, it's supposed to be a quarter, it says it is a quarter. But I know that's not what I hit in there. Unless I just happen to hit it square. Ah! Stand by, I'll be two days digging that up. I mean, covering that up. Target right there. A little teeny piece of copper I didn't show you. That's where the quarter came from. Right at the top of this kind of damp zone right here. So I think I'm going to zigzag. I've been hunting in and out like this, you see. I'm going to zigzag right through here for a few minutes. We stuck out about as long as it'll open up, you know, the rod. I guess I'm getting like an eight, ten foot sweep through here like this. So far, nothing. Right along in here. Looks like a battery. No, it's the back of a watch, I think. Yeah. But 
maybe the back of a battery. No, it's the back of a watch. Bezel, something. Let's see if we can find a watch. Okay, I drug my scoop all the way up that damp zone. Now we'll go back just outside here, you know, from here to here. And we'll turn around back up that way and we'll come back inside that line. Well, we got no hits on the outside edge coming, coming back this way. So we'll work the higher side. And if we don't find much, we'll, we'll turn around and go back to the other end of the high cut behind us. If you remember the last time we were here, me and the Mumbles man, we found the right many targets here. No bling of anything, but we found a lot of change, lots of little pieces of copper. With that cut right there, I thought sure we'd find something today, or I would, or somebody would. I don't know. Stand by. The day is young. 12.35. That's kind of like shallow. One meager cent, I think. I had a suspicion of these hunts that was what it was going to be. One cent. Forty three. We dug two more dimes. This is a solid 1218. 1202 that, that, that sounds
Crap! I lost it. I didn't go far though. Well, I don't see no knockout gold chain or nothing. And I don't feel anything. Be some tiny little damn thing. Uh, I think we got it. That's a fine ticket right there. Well, my leader's moved about half the rocks. I think she ordered too many. She's starting to put them in the back now. But they do look nice. I have to give her credit for that. I hope the scenario works. We got a bad storm coming tomorrow and Friday. Big rain. 30, 40 knot winds. It was it looked like it was going to knock the farmer's market out for Saturday heavy rain and heavy wind but now it's shifted the storm is moving apparently faster than they thought so it's going to get here late tonight i think and a solid uh, blowout tomorrow so i'll be messing with them knives i have to move in here to the garage i guess stand by i'm getting ready for the roundup oh I got some more knives when I got home. More knives. These are the ones I picked up on 59th Street. All hinkles. And when I got home, Chris had these waiting for me. Two uh, shoes, a little shoe and a big shoe. It looks like a hinkle, maybe a calphalon. And this one I can't make it out. It's Robert somebody. Weird, weird looking knife, huh? I like it. Okay. We're having steak on the grill tonight. I gotta get the grill ready now. Leaks. Going with green beans and some steakos. Scissors. More knives. Not knives, but blades. Scissors came in today from a lady in uh, Newport News. Stand by. They're wrapped up nice. There's a pair. Nice pair of gingers. Two pair of gingers. So we got two pair of gingers and a pair of uh, just regular household type scissors. Okay, and there's the string beans. We got a neighbor coming over. That's why there's three steaks. Guy across the street. Trash. Idiot. Where are you going? 
We're trying some new wine tonight. Second Voyage Red Blend, Captain Edwards. South Australia. Drugs. Gotta have drugs. There's a roundup over there waiting to get rounded up. You see, it, it's like white stick with a reflector. Ten dimes. I'm thinking about putting one right Eight quarters. Somebody Nothing else except them damn pennies. No nickels in mine. Yeah. Grommet of some type. One meager button, like underwear button or a shirt button, or I don't know what it is. I don't even know if it's old or not. It just looks old. Okay. Rain event, wind event, knife event. See you tomorrow. Maybe. My carnivore. It's hungry. She's squeaking. You go right on that big old jack, don't you? Yeah. You're not afraid of nobody. I don't care who they are. What do you think, big old jack? That's a baby. Baby scooter. That little Indian. Where's your buddy at? Oh, mad, big ass man dude. Oh, I see him. He's sitting in my damn chair. Look at him. He thinks he's a king. Well, he is sort of the king. Hi, boo boo. That's Big Old Jack. Are you afraid of him? I'm not afraid of nothing, he said. <laughs> Is that a camera there? Video camera, yeah. Is that one of those cop cameras? No, this is a little GoPro I've had for three years. It's a waterproof, little waterproof camera they make. They don't make it anymore. It's like people used to, you know, like they'd on if they were surfing. Stakes are hiding under this lid here. They're so thick they gotta hide for a long time. But I like them. But they never really, you know, they stop right there by the gargoyle house filling in. That's where yes. they stop. Yeah, but my point is, and you know, Chris was not gonna point the way when they built the bridge how the bridge created the cutting oh, right yeah. there. Oh yeah, it's still, that cut's already made back in there. Yeah, so, but in the meantime, being they built that out as far as they did, I think in, in the short term, we are now gonna get a lot of that cut because they- We should, it. yeah, we could. And so, and that's, I mean, I can see my beach is a lot shorter than my, the whole time I'm living here. Yeah, short, sure. you're right about that. And you gotta remember. It appears I should have went south. I just got a report from the gig, no picture yet. He said from, I think he said he put it in at 38th Street and I put it in at 50th. He said it was unbelievable. He just, he's just now leaving, so he's been there for, well hell, I don't know, five or six hours maybe, seven hours, I don't know how long he's been there. He said he'd done tons and tons and tons of coins. He got four rings, two blingers, he thinks two are gold. He got four chains, I mean two chains, uh, no gold chains. Both of them got, uh, what, did, what did he say, pendants or crosses or something on them. I can't remember. He was excited, as I am. Anyway, he had a big day 20 blocks south of where I was. we have to see what goes on the next day or two with his weather event. He says the big cuts down there just like it was where I was. Interesting. Right? Big O' Jack. A hunting dog. You remember when I used to take Big Jack on the beach with me? I haven't never taken Big Jack since I had the Indian. No. It's hard to control too. It's hard enough with him. But this is a nice Indian right here. Yes it is, a big Indian. I get a leash and put it on him.
Take him down. The only problem is getting the leash on him. He'd eat your arm off while you were trying to get it on him. He's so damn mean. And I mean mean with a big damn M, too. She never stops. How many minutes? Well, I'm not sure they're done. It's I understand. Seven on each side. Seven on each side, okay. We'll check one of them out. That looked like me right over there. With a carcinogen on it. Yeah, I know that's me. Yes, sir, that's me right there. No, it's not. Yes, that is. Perfect. All the carnivores are right here. So bad, don't you? She snuck out the door the other day. She loves it outside. But she used to go and come to the doggy door. But she she brought so many presents back to Chris that we had to shut the doggy door up. Baby rabbits, lizards, voles, voles by the load, live voles, lizards, birds, <laughs> little teeny rabbits with no head. Yeah, that's right. You're a carnivore. Not big boo boo. These two are tight buddies. In this pickle jack. The best. The best pepper. I got some nice critters. So I have. I mean, I pretty much a bunch.